Today in the livestock market, cattle was down. That last lackluster report, I think, brought in some sellers and the market just couldn't sustain. You know, we've had such an upward move uh, in the, on the beef side for such a long time that it's gonna take, you know, news every day uh, to feed that bull to get, get it going. Uh, that being said, it really wasn't off all that much. I think, you know, we're still holding in uh you know area above well, well above the 180 mark so uh to me that we had a little bit of a pullback after we're trying to digest that cattle on feed report uh i think that we'll we'll see something else by tomorrow but of course we got the holidays coming in grilling season is really just a couple of months away so there's going to be a lot to be looking at as we go forward and clearly there's uh, supplies are still tight on the cattle side uh right now the seaval is at 13.6 percent for cattle now feeders did fall as well those february placements uh were bearish on the market and uh it, and it just kind of tells you that these kind of reports really will uh, change kind of like the day-to-day -day market, uh, but even though we did have a pullback and a relatively sharp one, comparatively speaking of where we were, because we've been really stuck in a channel for quite a while with both the live cattle and feeders. Uh, that being said, uh, being off the mark a little bit, I don't know that I'm completely want to throw in the towel just yet. We have to kind of be careful uh, with that because the uh, supplies are tight. Seaval is up about uh, a point and a half. We're up to 17. 0.4%. I think that's significant. There's a lot more volatility out there on that feeder side. Uh, hogs today uh, were a little bit higher. I think that overbought market correction now has kind of uh, is finished and we got back on the to the buying side right now. There are tight supplies on the hog level, which hadn't been there really for a long time. We've always been looking on the beef side, but there is some tighter supplies. The market's strong. We're uh, hanging right around that $100 mark, and I think that's pretty solid going forward. So uh, it looks like that the, the, there's plenty of support there. Right now, the CVAL for the lean hogs is at 20.8%.